well 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 i think there is one more thing that is missing and that is um uh, we don't want anybody to be able to manually add users look at the users index page look at what is showing we don't need this to show we're going to close it out and delete it uh, nobody should ever be able to manually add users if a user wants to be added the user has to sign up so we're going to pull it out look at it delete and it's gone we we'll refresh the button is gone if we click on this but we also need to create this option so that um, the any user viewing this if you are the owner of this profile you should be able to edit all right so i think i will bring it back and copy this then remove it again and then we go to show blade and then we add it so we copy this delete and um, add it here okay and then we're going to change this button to edit profile edit profile and then we're going to change this to users update or is it users edit i think it's users edit users edit and then we're going to tell it the user it's supposed to edit we do id and um, here is where we paste the, the the code of the user user id that's it so if we come here and refresh it shows up yeah very beautifully now the other thing we need to do is we need to put that clear uh, fix here if we come here we we'll copy a message flash message this message copy this then we go back to show then we we'll paste it here once we paste it it will make everything beautiful yep so it's now cute okay so the next thing we're going to do is when we we'll click on this in the next video uh, i think we should do it here user shouldn't be able to see a remember token no they shouldn't show here and um, this rule like they shouldn't show here uh, in fact it should be a drop down so um let me show you through this is remember token we have to go to edit so we'll go to our page it's in the fields look at the fields we remove the remember token nobody needs it but one tricky thing we have to do is the row where is it role id i'm looking for it role id so we can say role user level or role whatever so but this needs to be a drop down that has the role names not just the numbers and then we have to hide it from the normal user so i think we should do it in the next video